All right, folks, time for Quick Tip Tuesday. Uh, oftentimes we get cars in that the wheel nuts are all stripped off. Now this guy took the liberty of stripping out all 20 wheel nuts on this car prior to bringing it in. Thank you very much. Uh, but there's some that have the chrome caps and the chrome caps come off and you can put an 18 or an 18 and a half on there and zippy zap them off. But when they get to this point where they're completely rounded, caps gone, nuts completely rounded, the typical extractors that you would use that bite on there, all it does is split them in half. She's a no-go. If the rims are a huge piece of crap, just take the old cutting torch, blast it out, but these rims are so, so okay. So I'm gonna show you a tip, free tip Friday, quick tip Tuesday. Uh, just uh, simply drill the center of the stud. Now I know it sounds like a silly tip, however it works, and I'll show it to you. So I'm starting out with a, I don't even know what size, smaller, looks like something 64, 13 64 maybe. Matco Hyper Step Cobalt Drill Bit. Not a sponsor. We'll give her a spritz of some, some sort of lube. Doesn't have to be special drill bit lube. And then we're just gonna go at it. Now that that's done, we're gonna swap her out to the, whoa, where are you, fella? The 3 8 bit. And this will wall her out. Should get it thin enough that we can break it off easily, is the goal. Let's see if we got her wallered down enough. So we'll try a regular twist socket on there. Jay's working on getting the rest of them off. Oh, it's spinning the whole stud. Nice and easy. However, you still have to replace the stud at this point. But you can see, oh wow, we drilled nice and straight. And that's what you're left with. Just, it just enough to take the tension off. Uh, I had to do a couple of these. Now it doesn't damage the wheel. And all you have to do is replace a couple of studs when you're done. And there you have it folks. Quick, simple, and easy. And just like skinning cats, there's more than one way to do it. So that is one way to remove a wheel stud that is stuck and most likely an easy way for the DIY homeowner to do it because most of us have a drill and you know some good drill bits. I was using, like I say, the Matco Hyperstep bits. They work extremely well. Drilled out five of these, only using two drill bits and you know they're still razor sharp. I haven't noticed in the past that wheel studs are abnormally hard to drill. So I think just a good quality cobalt bit and if you don't have that hyper step tip, just start out with a smaller bit and you know work your way up and use some kind of special lubricant. Or if you don't have special lubricant, just use whatever you have, like what I do. Um, there's all sorts of ways. You know, torch, they actually make this special drill that goes on there that you know just chews away the wheel nut. Um, you can use the little inductive heater, but what I find uh, with a torch or inductive heater, if you're trying to heat it up on an alloy wheel, uh, you do take a chance of this color in the wheel but the other problem is you know the magnesium or aluminum or whatever type of alloy they use it, it pulls the heat away so quickly by the time you heat it and then get a socket bead on it you know it's it's already cooled down so heating it is kind of irrelevant um what else can you do on a steel wheel sometimes i'll take the air hammer with a chisel bit i'll catch the edge of the of the nut and spin that around um, you know all sorts of twist sockets removing devices whatever but this is a method so so that's that head down to that comment section questions comments concerns go down there and leave your best method of uh, wheel nut removal once it's already boogered up what do you do and just remember viewers if i can do it you can do it thanks for watching